Oh my god, look! Oh my god! How sweet was that? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So, in this part, I was thinking, um, it's Paisley's birthday, so she's going to age up. Um, a little surprise is going to be happening, which if you watched till the end of the last part, you already know what that is. But, um, I think we're also going to get a cat, because I think that for Paisley's birthday, she would ask for a cat. Um, yeah, and then, obviously, we're just gonna, you know, go from there. So, I want them to all go out to breakfast. Uh, there's a hint to the surprise, if you didn't already know. Um, I'm gonna have them all go out to breakfast together, so don't feed her. If you try to feed her, no, if you try to feed her, I'm gonna be mad. Go out here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send them all out to eat with Freddy, and I think she'll take Paisley with her. I don't know if Paisley, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know if Paisley will eat, but I can try. Yeah, just walk your kid in her stroller in the rain to the restaurant. Seems legit. <laughs> All right, um, wild. That's, I mean, that's not super far, but it's pretty far. Also, um, either before the next part or sometime soon, I'm going to be building them another house. And I already have an idea of kind of what I want it to look like. So that's exciting. All right. Okay, so she does get to eat. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hopefully the rain clears up because I do want to have her have a birthday party. I don't know where I want it to be, though. Could we do it at the beach? I mean, I know that it's like springtime and like no one will swim in the ocean. But is there like a place I could, yeah, I could have her birthday here. And then I could, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's speed up through them getting some food. All right, I'm gonna have you, um, in reality, I wouldn't have her do this but I'm gonna have her put the baby on the ground so that Freddy can pick her up. Um, normally I wouldn't do that, but in, in real life, she would just hand her off to him. So it's not like I'm literally putting her on the wet ground, but like that's pretty much what she's doing. What happened? There we go. I was like, why? Okay. Uh, go throw party at. <laughs> okay, and we want to do it at the beach. Okay, and it's going to be a, a destination party, I guess, where she will age up. So we'll start at 4 p.m. It's going to be casual attire. Let's make sure we invite some of our friends. Okay, we need to invite all of the Windles. So we need Eric there. I Oh, not, oh, maybe Henry, Isaac, Milo, uh, Nathan and Rachel, Henry... Um, I could invite Mason. Okay. There we go. The party will start at four. Let's go ahead and have her run on home uh, to grab a cake. And then Freddy's also going to run on home with her. I want them to have, like, oh my god, look, they're best friends. Her and Freddy are best friends. And if that's not the sweetest thing you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. That is so cute. I love that. I love that. They're best friends. Speaking of which, can you, like, call Isaac? I feel like you never talk to him. Oh, God, who's this? Oh, what happened? Oh, she's throwing up. All right, I need to make sure that they have a cake. Let me buy one real quick to put in Freddy's inventory. I wish you could, like, customize the colors on the cake. You know what I mean? You can download, um, like, custom content uh, birthday cakes where you can do that. But 
I wish that you could just just do it, you know? Okay, I, I guess she's deciding to clean the toilet. That's really odd and something I don't expect her to actually do, but maybe she's just thinking like, sometimes she does these things. I don't think because she actually wants to, but because she feels like it might make her like look better in the eyes of other people. All right, why don't you um, put her in here for a while and make the bed? Oh my god. I, Paisley is so cute. I cannot wait to see what she looks like. It's so exciting. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, I mean, but like, which, like, all right. Um, we better head off to the beach. So visit with Freddy and Paisley. Did I grab the cake? I did. Okay. Everybody, let's go! Oh, hang on, look. Cute. Okay, sorry, I had to take a picture of that. They all look so cute sitting in the back of the taxi together, even though they all look so pissed. Like, they look so angry for no reason. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's go. Are you coming? Why are you walking like that? All right. The birthday party is at four, um, which means that people are going to start showing up in about 15 minutes. So we wait until four and at four, hello, at four, we'll start the party. Um, we're going to put out the birthday cake. We're going to put it right there. We're going to change. Oh. Oh! It's a jukebox! How cute! Okay, um... We have a little bit of... I don't know. I don't know if I want to serve food yet. Because they just had food. How far away are you? Walking very slow. Unnecessarily slow. The first guest has arrived. It's Isaac, and he's... Nepnar. Running. Freddy, can you play pool with Isaac at, er, in a little while, maybe? That'd be cute. All right. Everybody should be here now. I like that it says that they're on a date. All right. It's time for Paisley to age up. I was hoping he would do it. Oh, that's so cute. I love Freddy so much. I feel so bad about our plans for him because he doesn't deserve any of this. He is such a kind, look, what is he doing? He is such a kind, sweet little child. And I, I just, God, honestly, Paisley, he, he is Paisley's dad. I feel like Paisley thinks, I mean, I know that he's not her dad. But I feel like Paisley oh, thinks that he's her dad. I love that we didn't even invite her dad to her birthday party. <laughs> Henry, can I please change your hair? Just like, please. Just re just real fast. And Eric, too. I just like, this whole pigtails thing, I'm not feeling it. Like, literally any hairstyle is better than this one. I would even choose... The cow plant hat. Ew. I don't remember what hair you had. Which hair did you have? Ew, not that one. I think it was this one. Okay. There you go, Henry. Oh, I, I hope Henry finds someone. You know, Henry is sweet. Mardunsa. He's sweet. He's super nerdy, which like I think is super cute for him. And Eric, of course, is perfect child. We're gonna change his hair as well, just real quick, because it this pigtail thing is bothering me. This is a glitch and 
I know that I probably should download Seems that old. mod that takes that out. Maybe I'll look into that. He's got some nice brows, though. Eric, you are cute. Wow. I guess I, like, forgot. Like, I haven't... It's been a long time since I created Eric. He is cute. Wow. Soul. Look how cute. I love him. And Annette being the, like, most beautiful child in the world. I don't think we invited her either. I don't think Isabella knows Annette exists. Isabella! Your daughter is literally aging up, and you're like... In the ocean? Honestly, are we even surprised? Oh, oh my god, I have to get a picture. Oh my god, look! Oh my god. How sweet was that? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Remember, in two hours, Isabella has a gig. Yeah, she missed her daughter's birthday for it. She's missing her daughter's birthday party. Like, nobody's paying attention. Okay, what trait should we have Paisley have? Right now, she's a heavy sleeper, and she's clumsy. Let's see. Can she be um, a, re a rebellious? Okay. So it's already starting, you guys. She's already becoming a bit... Actually, I might say rebellious for um, teenagerhood, but I think she's going to be hot-headed. So I think that she gets angry pretty easily, you know, because of everything that's happened. And I think we'll save rebellious for when she turns into a teenager. So, like, that's whenever her rebellious stage will really start. But at this point, she's just hot-headed. She's just, like, kind of angry. She's cross-eyed. But my God, isn't she just a spitting image of her mother? She looks like... She looks like Zoe, which Isabella looked exactly like Zoe. Let's go ahead and give this little girl a little makeover. Um, I She loves the color blue, so I'm going to put her in blue. And whenever I rebuild the house, her bedroom is going to be blue, which I'll probably have to redo her bedroom before I redo the house anyway, just because. Oh, my God. Look at those eyebrows. Oh, wait. That's cute. I like it. I hope that is one of the hairs that actually works and not like one that glitches. She's got some brows. She's got some angry brows going on. I mean, like, good for you. She's got beautiful green eyes. Wow. I love her. Let's put her in a jacket. It's springtime. Let's change the colors a bit, though. We'll make that white, and this will make, like, a pretty blue. There we go. And then for pants... It's spring, not summer, or spring, not um, winter, so I think we give her some khakis, some little khaki shorts, and some tennis shoes. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love her a lot. For formal wear, I'll just throw her in a literally anything. That's pretty cute. Gotta change the shoes, though. All right, in sleepwear, I'm obviously going to put her in this, in the blue version, with the dinosaur shoes, because when I was a kid, I loved onesies, and I loved wearing dinosaur shoes, so that's what we're going to do, and I don't know if they have any blue ones. It's been a long time. I don't think they have... Okay, so I'll make them blue. What? blue and then that'll be like a white this will be dark blue that's fine there we go she's got some shoes you're gonna wear a t-shirt do they have a blue one there we go I like that color uh, I would consider that like a like a I don't even... Coral, Robin's egg blue, maybe? We need some shorts. And some tennis shoes for gym class. Swimwear, you probably won't need it, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like... Zag, zag. 
make it anything special and you're oh, probably just gonna that. need like a raincoat more than anything because it is springtime. I think she is just the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. What do you guys think? I think she's super cute. I think she's definitely different from her mother. Definitely different. But in a lot of ways, she looks the same. Those are too heavy. Oh my god, she can have nails? Ew. I hate that. There we go. Yeah, I think that, you know, obviously physically, she looks a lot like her mother did and her grandmother, but I think that, you know, overall, she's very different. And honestly, I love it. I, oh, I love it a lot. She's so sweet. Oh, she won't be sweet forever because she's hot headed and rebellious. Oh, that hair's not going to work, is it? Well, that just makes me angry because I think it's cute. But I think we're definitely going to stick to short hairstyles. I don't know why those ones do that. It's the shading or whatever. We're going to stick with a short hair. I think that one's probably going to do the same thing. What about this one? No. Let's Let's maybe try this. I hope cross your fingers everyone. I don't think this one actually. I think this one is also one that messes up. Bag bag. I don't know why the hairs do that sometimes. It's very strange. Yeah, that one also messes up. Okay. So we're gonna go with, I have one that I know works and it's that one with the two buns, which I don't want to do because I don't think it looks that good on her. But maybe I'll download some more child hairs and test them out and see if they work. Or maybe braids. Wait, honestly? I'm kind of living for it. I kind of love it. What about this? Okay, so I'm going with this ponytail because I clicked it. And look how cute it is. I know it's like a Generations hairstyle, but I think that is adorable on her. So I'm picking that because that is the oh, least Isabella good. hair she could have ever. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, it's cool. Is nobody else gonna come and have a slice of cake? Gotta do. Grab a slice, maybe. <laughs> How freaking typical. Everybody comes to her birthday party and no one celebrates her birthday. And then, you know, as soon as the cake is ready, everybody is all up and at it. All right, you better head off to your gig and, you know, miss the rest of your child's birthday. Play pool with Isaac, please. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. I'm ignoring your party because I have a gig to go do, even though I'm gonna find out I'm pregnant in the middle of it. And she says she's missing her gig, but I mean, yeah. But usually I'm like three hours early, so like they can wait a 10 seconds. All right, let's go. Get off my stage. Okay. Oh, she wants to be best friends with her mom. I just don't think that's going to happen. Oh my god, look how good she looks. You going to sing? Okay, singer, perform, new glitz. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus, then tell a joke. I can't hear her singing for some reason. All right, the party's over. Just like Billie oh. Eilish. Oh. Yeah, I would probably boo too, cause like, she's not even singing. That one guy, this guy. 
I love that they're Murder. singing karaoke the while I'm on stage. Like, this guy's enjoying it. Talon, there's Taylor. Hey, Taylor, how's it hanging? Oh, he seems to be enjoying it. Oh. Yay! Oh my god. I wish I could hear. Perform OG Fever. Still can't hear it. Sing verse. Sing chorus. Verse. Rachel is a young adult. What girl? Sorry, hang on. Quick makeover. Just fixing like the main outfit and the hair. But girl, what? You're a, an adult? Okay, I mean, she looks like a game generated sim. She looks like someone that, you know, the game picked and was like, hey. So this is definitely gonna be her hair and it might also be Isabella's hair when she's a teen also girl we gotta fix those brows so when I was a kid these are the only brows I would use on sims because I grew up you know in the 2000s when the eyebrow trend was like how teeny can you make your eyebrows while still having eyebrows so I that's the ones I would use on my sims because I thought that like having the thinnest eyebrows ever was like a thing that I should strive for which, looking back now, I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, that's... People with really, really thin eyebrows, honestly, like, it's something weird in the face, like, that kind of freaks me out. <laughs> <gasps> what do you guys think she would be like? That's fine. I just, like, I know it looks weird. I'm just trying to give her something that's not what she was wearing before. I know that that looks weird and it's like not cute, but at least it's like not lime green and what it was before. All right. I hope your concert's doing well. I'm going to go over to check on these two. Oh, she's playing out on the playground equipment. How cute. Oh, he's already, he's already feeling sad about the fact. <gasps> Wait, go here. Are you tired? No, but you're going to get tired in a little bit. Watch TV. I'm going to have him read her to sleep later. Okay, we're redoing her bedroom real quick. Okay, we're gonna change this wallpaper to blue wallpaper, which I actually like that one already. Um, we're gonna change these to be white or like that color, whatever you wanna call that. Let me make sure I get anything like super kiddish off the wall. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. And obviously they won't be here for long because she's gonna we're gonna rebuild them a house. How stinking cute. Uh where's the generations? Here we go. I'm just gonna give her like some cute little stuff. And then what do I imagine her doing as a teen or as a child obviously we'll give her a toy box maybe I'll put a hopscotch thing outside but like do I imagine her having any like skills hobbies or anything um I mean nothing that she couldn't do until she was a teenager maybe I'll get her into chemistry Speaking of which, I am I haven't always been the biggest fan of chemistry, but this semester I have a teacher that's amazing. And so yeah, I'm really enjoying my chemistry class so far. I mean, I've only had two class periods, so like I would hope that I would like it at this point, but yeah, it's really fun. All right. Are you ending the show? <laughs> 
She's ending the show. Oh, there was actually some people watching it this time. That's cool. She got pro she got um, promoted. It says, congratulations, Isabella has been conferred. The new title of Rising Star by Starlight Shores Tar Town Council. That's level six. Um, in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce, are you ready to pump up your stage performance? With a new front stage kit, another new song, and a new onstage move, you're going to wow the crowd. Your reward can be found in her inventory. Everybody thinks the reviews of your shows are in. This was a great show. What Isabella Angela didn't have in performance experience was more than compensated for by energy and passion. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Oh. She just got promoted. We're going to head on home. No, don't go to sleep. She's tired. Can you... Just ask him about his day and give him a friendly hug and um, make a silly face. Oh my god, these two's relationship is literally the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Look! Oh my god. He's so cute. He is such he is so her dad. I mean I know he's not her dad, but he's her dad. I think he thinks of himself as her dad, and I think she thinks of him as her dad, and clearly Isabella thinks of him as her dad because she's fine with just like leaving it, her home alone with him all the time. Can I like ask for a bedtime story? Oh, does she have to be tired? Okay, well then, uh, keep talking. Just make an inside joke. Tell a funny story. <laughs> Wait till your, like, little tired mood look comes out. Because once the tired mood look comes out, she can ask him to give her a bedtime story. Okay, there it is. What? I don't have appropriate books. Well, excuse me. Let me just buy a freaking bookshelf, I guess. We'll put it over here. Okay, now can you ask for a bedtime Whoa. story? There we go. Can you read me a bedtime story, please? Let's do logic level one. Imagine like reading your kid a bedtime story and reading them a book about how to play chess. That's not what I meant. This is not what I wanted, but, you know, what he would let her sleep in there. <laughs> oh! Oh! <gasps> okay, so if you guys haven't seen the last part or hadn't quite caught up yet, um, Isabella is pregnant. And it is... A Hello? Um, we're gonna have to change this, but it is a quote-unquote surprise pregnancy she's gonna claim she didn't know freddy's obviously going to claim that he didn't know because he didn't um but isabella definitely did know and isabella definitely planned this but freddy's gonna be asleep when she comes home i think she'll avoid telling him as long as possible i don't know i just imagine her either she would tell him immediately or she would wait and like claim she didn't know or whatever which she clearly did and also girl what is going on right now what is going on right okay yeah those shoes though are gonna have to change i like that dress i think that dress is cute but you can't wear those uggs with that dress and you're gonna have to take off the tights <laughs> But it is a cute dress, though. I would love to have a dress like that in real life. There is one company called Christy Dawn. They're a clothing company that I think is, like, literally the most beautiful clothing in the world. Except it's, like, all natural and ethical. And so it's really, really expensive. And I would love to, you know, have, like, the so, all natural, so. ethical, vegan clothing brands. But, like, I'm a college student that lives with my parents. You know? So, like, I don't have that kind of money. All right. Head on home. Freddie, why aren't you going to sleep? What's wrong, dude? Head to bed. 
You're so weird. All right. She's heading home. She's going to take a shower. Use the bathroom. And head on off to bed. And I think that she might tell him in the morning. Unless, I mean, obviously he'll find out whenever she walks into the room. Because uh, he'll, like, get a wish, like, to have a girl or have a boy. But I think we'll have her actually tell him in the morning. And then, so we'll see, get to see all of that drama, of course, in the next part. Because I am actually going to end this part here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. This one was a bit exciting. We didn't get a cat. Oh, I wanted to get a cat. Oh, that's really upsetting. Okay, well, either way, maybe we'll do that in the next part. Uh, we'll get a cat for Paisley's birthday. In the next part, I might have them in a different house. Um, but I might not. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Make sure to leave a like down below if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every single time I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.